How do I know if I can trust a contractor as I have all <laughs> I've heard all kinds of horror stories. Currently, they're all all kinds of horror stories. That's really what it boils down to. Now, contractors get very mad when they hear us talk about it, but I'll tell you from our perspective, we've been through hundreds and hundreds of contractors over the years for, for a variety of reasons. We've done over 700 deals, so we've just been through a lot of contractors. You know, you don't know if you can trust a contractor until you get to, to work with them. Like anything in life, you don't know. You can do your due diligence beforehand by doing a few things, though. You can definitely do a good interview process when you meet them. You can definitely not show weakness. Try your best to get referrals, find people that have referrals, and then go drive to the referrals. Like if they say, well, I'm working on a job right now over on Orchard Street or whatever it might be, go by the job site. You know, Even talk to that person. Knock on the door after hours and say, are you enjoying this contractor? Get a good feel for who they are. And there are some good ones. I want to be clear about that. It's just, there's a lot of bad ones, but there are some good ones, right? People that have good contractors typically aren't so quick to give you that name because they want to keep that contractor in their pocket, especially if they're doing a lot of, of work, right? So flippers kind of keep those, those names close to their chest because they're so hard to find. But here's what I would tell you. Once you find a good one, try your best to keep them as long as you can. Amber and I have found that a lot of contractors have a shelf life to work for a flipper, you know, because they kind of come in and they're, they're sometimes four, five, six jobs and they're like, eh, I don't know, this feels like a job to me. And they like to go kind of go from, from, um, from person to person that they work for. It is possible, but take care of them when you find them. And there are horror stories and there can be horror stories, but it, you know, welcome to life. That's what it is. So it's part of the game.